Would your iPhone still have a signal if you're driving through rural Nebraska or hiking in Yellowstone? Probably not. But the new $199 Tesla Pi phone that Elon Musk just revealed will say yes. That's why he once said, Tesla is in a better position to create a new phone that's not Android or iPhone than maybe any company in the world. What we have here is a Pi phone powered by LFP battery full charges in just 20 minutes, taps into Starlink satellites for global coverage, and protects your eyes with a high-quality LTPO display. All of that with just under $199? This phone is something everyone will eventually need. So, how real is this? What's inside Tesla OS that makes it better than iOS? And how could this phone keep you always connected? We'll break it all down in today's video. Stick around, and if you like these deep dives into future tech, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel and keeps you in the loop. How does Tesla Pi phone screen protect your eyes in ways iPhone never could? Not the camera, not the battery, it's the screen that you'll spend the most time on. With the Pi phone, we're talking about a 6.7-inch LTPO OLED panel with a sharp 3200 by 1440 resolution and an adaptive refresh rate of up to 120 Hz. That's flagship-level stuff here. Traditional OLED displays lock you into a static refresh rate, usually 60 Hz or 120 Hz. Tesla's LTPO changes that by letting the screen dynamically shift its refresh rate from as low as 10 Hz all the way to 120 Hz, depending on what you're doing with your phone. When it's static content like an article or ebook, the Pi Phone's LTPO panel can drop refresh rates down to 10 Hz. But the moment you start scrolling through a photo album or join a video call, it ramps back up to 120 Hz in just 15 milliseconds delivering ultra-smooth motion. Apple only puts this kind of LTPO OLED on its Pro iPhones that sell for over $1,200. On the $199 Pi phone, it comes standard. Pair that with a 6.7-inch panel running at a razor-sharp 3,200 by 1,440, and we're looking at over 520 pixels per inch on the Pi phone's display. That's way sharper than what Apple gives you on its $1,200 Pro Max, which is just about 460 pixels per inch, and many phones don't even break 400. But raw specs alone aren't enough. Why the Pi phone's screen is grabbing so much attention is the eye protection tech. The biggest issue with traditional OLED screens now is sunlight glare. Smooth glass reflects 4 to 5% of light straight into your eyes, washing out the display and forcing you to max brightness, drain battery, and still squint. For the Pi phone screen, Tesla uses a new nano anti-reflective coating. This is a physical texture made up of microscopic ridges and valleys measuring about 150 nanometers, which is smaller than visible light itself, which measures about 400 to 700 nanometers. So instead of bouncing straight back to your eyes, sunlight gets scattered in different directions. This brings reflections down to only 1.3% and you no longer have to blast brightness to 100% outdoors. Even at 60 to 70%, the screen stays legible under sunlight. And to solve the hidden flicker in OLED screens, Tesla decided to raise the PWM dimming frequency of the Pi phone display to 2160 Hz. Most budget Android phones still run at around 240 Hz, and even premium devices like the iPhone 15 Pro stay at 480 Hz. At those lower levels, pixels switch on and off so quickly that your eyes cannot see it, but the retina still reacts to the constant flashing. At more than 2000 Hz, Tesla makes the light output feel almost continuous, like looking at a steady lamp instead of a flickering bulb. And that's how the Pi phone can finally give you a screen you can trust for all day use. So if your eyes are too tired of your current phone screen and you're waiting for the Pi phone to fix it all, let's drop a comment, 1999 Pi phone, to let us know. How does a Tesla Pi phone end your battery anxiety forever? The answer lies in this phone's 6,000 milliamp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. These cells are designed to hold 17% more energy per cubic centimeter than standard smartphone batteries. 
compared to a 3,200 milliamp hours for iPhone 16 or 3,500 milliamp hours for Samsung Galaxy S24. That means the Pi phone can handle up to 12 hours of video playback, 9 hours of continuous video calls, or around 6 hours of 4K photo and video shooting, adding up to roughly 26 to 27 hours of screen on time, all in a single charge. With normal back and forth use, that's about two days before you even think about charging. Even after 2,000 full charge cycles, the Pi phone keeps more than 90% of original capacity, while iPhone 16 drops to around 80% after only 500 cycles. That's the problem with most phone batteries today. Fragile, short-lived, and prone to overheating. They get hot, swell up, and in some cases, even catch fire. Remember the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 that got banned from airplanes because of drama batteries? Elon Musk won't let it happen with his Pi phone. LFP cells stay stable up to 200 degrees Celsius, compared to cobalt-based batteries that start breaking down at 60 to 70 degrees Celsius, reducing the risk of swelling or fire. Even the tangled chargers are gone. The Pi phone will come with its fast wireless charging system. Using magnetic resonance technology, this phone can pump up to 45 watts into the 6,000 mAh lithium iron phosphate battery, taking it from 0 to 50% in just 10 minutes and a full charge in about 22 minutes. Just make a coffee, spread some butter for your toast, and your Pi phone will hit 100% before you even take a bite. But the thing now is that you don't even have to charge your Pi phone that often anymore. The Pi phone comes with a tiny solar panel built right into its back just 20 square centimeters, but it can crank out up to 10 watts under bright sunlight. That's enough to add about 1,200 milliamp hours in an hour, giving you two to three hours of video calls or a few hours of browsing the news. Now your long trips to Yellowstone, hikes up Mount Rainier, or weekends in the Outer Banks feel a lot easier. How does Tesla OS keep you connected, even in places iPhones can't reach? It's not Apple. It's not Android. Musk is building something completely new, with features the rest of the industry hasn't even dared to touch. With Tesla OS, the Pi phone is still for calls, texts, apps, but it adds something iPhones and galaxies simply can't do. Instead of relying only on 4G or 5G cell towers, your data can jump straight to satellites moving overhead. Yes, the Pi phone has a direct Starlink satellite connection, as of August 2025, Starlink has 8,177 active satellites orbiting just 340 miles above Earth, blanketing almost the entire planet with a combined network capacity exceeding 25 terabits per second. These are not the old geostationary satellites sitting 22,000 miles up that cause 500 to 600 millisecond delays. Signals move much faster here. Starlink calls this direct-to-cell, and with it the Pi phone basically becomes a mini-satellite receiver. We're talking download speeds of 100 to 250 megabits per second, uploads of 20 to 50 megabits per second, and latency of just 20 to 40 milliseconds. About the same as good home Wi-Fi, and up to five times faster than legacy satellite systems, that means the Pi phone pretty much wipes out the idea of dead zones. You can make calls or FaceTime reliably in places where phones normally fail, whether that's Alaska, the Nevada desert, the Rockies. Your phone now still depends on towers every few miles. No towers, no service. But the Pi phone is always connected. It still works with 4G slash 5G in cities. But the point is, when every other phone turns into a brick in the middle of nowhere, the Pi phone keeps you online. That may sound risky for your information, but Starlink locks everything down with AES-256 encryption and RSA-4096 key exchange, the same level used by the U.S. Department of Defense. Every call, text, or email is encrypted the moment it leaves your phone and can only be unlocked by the receiver. And let's be clear, these threats aren't theoretical. In early 2025, iPhones in over 100 countries were hit by the graphite spyware attack. A single iMessage, no clicks required, 
could let hackers listen in, read your texts, even switch on your camera and mic remotely. Apple patched it with iOS 18.3.1, but it exposed the weakness of routing data through multiple carriers and middlemen. With the Pi phone, that's not how it works. Your data doesn't bounce through a maze of networks. It goes straight from your device to the satellite, always encrypted, always under your control. The keys aren't held by Tesla, not by carriers, and definitely not by advertisers, only by you. So, how real is this? What's inside Tesla OS that makes it better than iOS? And how could this phone keep you always connected? We'll break it all down in today's video. Stick around, and if you like these deep dives into future tech, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel and keeps you in the loop.